Hey guys, it's Nate, aka the Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We did not have to wait long because EA dropped more insane Future Star evolutions, and honestly, in my opinion, they're the best ones yet. And yet again, with those evolutions dropping, we have market prices that are crashing because of these Academy Evos that are just insane. So we have to talk about all of that, explain that situation and how it's going to continue to impact the market today into Monday. But also we got to look forward to today because there's one SBC that we need on this game today. All right. No questions. We need it on this game today, EA Sports. So if you're excited for today, if you're excited for these Evos that are just crazy and they're changing the game right now, drop a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. Let's get into yesterday's content and start with the SBCs because one SBC that we're not actually very excited about was one that we kind of thought we would get, but we're still not excited for it because EA dropped it and there's still compensation for the old one that they haven't given us back yet. Yeah, we're talking about the hero player pick. Unfortunately, no icon pick, even though it makes sense with icons in packs for future stars. They give us an 86 plus base triple threat UCL, UWCL hero player pick. Yeah, it's not that expensive, but even when you look at the prices of 86s still, they are a bit inflated. Yes, it's craftable as well. If you want to get it done, I think it's something to do. We'll call it that. It's something to do in this game. It's a gamble player pick. It is a one of four, so you have a chance. But I mean, honestly, 106,000 coins for base heroes at this stage of the game because you guys know how the weight on these sorts of player picks are. It's just not it. I don't think I'm going to touch this SPC. I'd rather do a player SPC that maybe I don't even need uh, ahead of this. You know, I don't know. So um, yeah, it's just funny though that we're waiting for the compensation of those hero picks that EA tweeted and talked about when this SPC was dropped as an 87 plus two weeks ago, guys. Yeah, two weeks ago yesterday was that situation. We're still waiting for compensation. We don't have it yet. And that SPC did not make a lot of waves yesterday because it's just a bit expensive. So craft it if you want, if you're degen in the menus, but that one is not very good. Of course, we had to refresh the 85 double, uh, which I have to get done. I only did it once yesterday. Got to get that done for sure. And we had a player SBC in the name of Pedro Neto. It's the expected card. I don't know what is going on with the dynamic image there, but this card is not really meeting our expectations. Kind of an L, also kind of mid. And I want to talk through it for a couple reasons. We had high expectations for this card. And to be honest, our expectations were set super high because Claudia Pena's card was super nuts, right? Two playstyle pluses, insane stats, and a great price. Pedro Neto is a solid price. I mean, to be honest, if this card was on the market, would he be 106,000 coins like the SBC uh, is priced at? I think he would only be over 100,000 coins if he had two playstyle pluses. And that is the reason why this card is not that exciting. One playstyle plus with everything else having two right now and being hype in the name of the game it just falls behind the curve a little bit the stats don't look that bad he's got really good agility and uh, balance in the dribbling his pace is great he's got good play styles apart from only having one play style plus right he's got finesse plus or finesse regular quick step plus and the rapid and he's four star four star five foot eight really good at dribbling the problem is a lot of people already have a special version of Pedro Neto, and he was a very popular card from a Centurion's Evo earlier on in the year, and also with the Finisher Evo. If you take a look at some of these Evo cards, even if you only have like an 86 or an 87 rated Pedro Neto, you've probably got a card that is higher rated in, in stats, especially with pace, and especially with like the shooting on some of these. Look, 93 pace, 91 shooting, 93 dribble, that is higher than his card. And if you did the finisher Evo on his card as well, in any of these combinations, uh, then you probably have yourself a five star weak foot on the card too, which makes it better than the four four. So if this had two play style pluses, it'd be way, way, way more hyped. And I think most of us are just disappointed because we thought it was going to have two play style pluses. And that would have made this SBC really good. Even if they would have made it like 300 K with two play style pluses, like imagine quick step plus and like, I don't know, technical plus on this card, like that would be insane, you know? And even with those stats, if the stats are a little bit lower, but two play style pluses, I think we'd think about the SBC a little bit more, but that one's just a little bit unfortunate, especially because some of the Evos that dropped yesterday were better than that card. And even on Friday, some of the two play style plus Evos are better. Let's talk about the evolutions guys, because this is where it's all popping off in this game right now, because we had on Friday, of course, the attackers Academy Evo yesterday on Sunday, we had the defenders evolution. It is once again, free as my evos are glitching out let's go back in there it is once again free and in my opinion guys this is the best uh between the attackers and the defenders this is the best one yet right 
the defenders one and two, they're the exact same. And the players that they gave us yesterday with the stat boost that you get, the play style pluses that you get are absolutely crazy for free cards that yes you do have to go and play i think it's about 20 games for so it's a bit of a grind but it's kind of similar to like those evolutions earlier on in the year during centurion so you had to play like 40 games for the um marcus urente card and stuff like that the stats that you're getting on these cards by the very end the skill move the weak foot boost this vava card is insane right block play style plus and relentless play style plus for any or all of these defenders I think is way more usable than the playstyle plus is power header and acrobatic that you got for the attackers. That's why I think this is even better than the attackers. And of course, it's impacting the market once again. Now, to honestly show you, I don't know why the dynamic images are not loading in on the actual game. This is the graphic that EA tweeted out yesterday, and it shows you some of the dynamics. Nice cold dynamic there uh, for Sergio Gomez, one of the most popular cards to put in this Evo. So the 11 players that are available, there's another widespread of players here. Actually, there's two players from Burnley, mostly Premier League players as well. You've got Gomez in the Premier League. You've got Asignon from Burnley. You've got Bayer from um, Burnley as well. And then you've got a mix of MLS, La Liga, Serie A. You've got a, a very popular League One with Teate and also uh, Bundesliga with Kosonu. There is really not a bad choice from any of these Evo cards, guys. There's really not a bad choice. And the coolest part with a lot of these Evos is, too, a lot of them have multiple positions. Like this Sergio Gomez going to an 88 rated left back. I think a lot of people would actually want to play him as a center defensive mid baby. High medium work rates, five star skills with 90 passing and 91 dribbling. Of course, he has relentless and block. He's got jockey, press proven, incisive pass and flair. Look at those stats, man. Like one thing that I really like about these cards too is that they're getting boosts in their reactions and the composer stats, right? A lot of times when we Evo cards, those are the stats that get forgotten about inside of these massive Evos and E is allowing us to evolve those and upgrade those stats in here. I'm a big fan of that. This card looks pretty crazy. He's one of the more popular ones. If I had to pick some of the best ones, probably Sergio Gomez, Kosonu, and Svava. Like, man, what a crazy fluctuation in price for some of these Madrid left backs, right? Everybody did Athenia for the attackers evo that was one of the most popular cards there so what did people go and buy they bought this olga carmona card who linked it to athenia right well what happened yesterday right this was just one of the places where the market dropped off she went from 115,000 coins down to 60k because ea dropped this madrid left back from the women's squad in the evo as well look at that card that's one of the better options as well high medium work rates left footed left back for sure with great dribbling defense physical and then 91 pace i mean what a card honestly ariel as well not that she's going to be super tall and winning a bunch of headers she's five foot eight but press proven technical a great attacking but also even in the defense a really solid card for a left back guys this evo is nuts this evo is freaking nuts once again and like i mentioned the two play style pluses being block and relentless plus are super crazy usable i mean if there's since there's two of these this is kind of what i'm recommending for these evos right now maybe there's one that you know right away that you want to do like for me i wanted to do okafor right away for the attacker's evo but i still have the other ones sitting there and waiting just to see what happens you get 18 days to do it and uh, you have 20 days to do the defender evo now i don't know if there's going to be midfielder evos so maybe there's something that if you see a midfielder in an evo that you would want to link to an attacker or a defender maybe just leave one slot open we don't even know if we're getting a midfielder evo yet it would just make sense since they did attackers and defenders we'll wait for a pack to be added to the code maybe that would be something that would come this next week of Future Stars Team 2. Just a hunch, not for sure. One interesting thing that I want to point out with this is, though, some of you guys maybe have noticed this. I don't think it's actually worth doing, but if you go into the Attacker's Evo, if you still have it available, guess who shows up in here? Oh, yeah, some of these defenders. You can actually put some of the defenders in, or all the defenders, in the Attacker Evo because there's no stat requirements. It's just the card design and playstyle pluses and playstyles. So Sergio Gomez, technically, if you wanted to make more of like a center attacking mid um, card, you don't get the weak foot upgrade, but he still goes to five star skills and he gets 88 pace, 86 shooting, 88 passing, and 91 dribble. So yeah, this would be, I think, the only card that it would be worth putting into the Academy Attackers Evo. But even then with those playstyle pluses, is it really worth it? 
I don't know. I mean, unless I think, you know, some people were looking at some of the tallest cards in the Evo, like Teate, and they were going to put him, him into that just for the playstyle plus for the header and the acrobatic for like headers, goals, and stuff like that. Uh, if you guys know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Zwayback. He's all about his headers, right? So I think he did that. I saw him tweet out yesterday. I heard about that. So that's one of the options you have there. But honestly, I would just do your favorite one, get that done, get it out of the way, get it crafted, and then complete it. And then after that, um, maybe wait till we see we, what we get with midfielders before going on. But again, all those options for players are freaking cracked, dude. You're talking two playstyle plus players for free, right? We say free because it does it does take some games and it takes some grind, but it's a free evolution and it's just gameplay and grind time, which you can just put that card into your team for rivals, for squad battles, um, champs games, whatever it is, and you can get yourself some very uh, easy, very high rated cards. And that's what people are doing right now in this game. And once again, it is impacting the market like crazy. Now, here's a card that is down like bananas, man. How much is Lamptey? Lamptey Future Stars is 80K. I think he was just 75,000 coins. This card was like 120,000 coins yesterday. It was the Defenders, which makes sense, right? It was the Defenders that absolutely tanked yesterday as people got brand new Defenders to put into their teams because of this Evo. Uh, the Olga Caramona that we looked at was another one that was down bad. Jonathan Klaus, I saw his like Europa League card was down a crazy amount too. Uh, from yeah, 27,000 coins down to 16k. I know it's a lower budget card, but that is a huge drop. Another card that I saw that dropped yesterday was like Mazrawi. Even this card dropped off a good amount. Looks like he's kind of come back, but he was 247, went down to 204. He's now back to 220. Kim Min J was a card that I was looking at. If I saw it at 200K, I was going to get really interested in. He went back down. He went down to 220. I saw one at 210. And now he's back up to like 230, 240. Guys, defenders are just in the mud because everybody wants to put one of these cards in their team. And I 100% understand why. So that's kind of the whole situation with these cards. And you know what it kind of feels like? We were talking about this on stream a little bit. It honestly just feels like the whole situation with uh remember during winter wild cards when ea was dropping insane evos like pep's legacy and some of the other stuff and it was literally making the market drop because of the insane evos people were replacing tradable cards off the market that they had bought in their teams with the new evos it's that same situation all again because these evos are so cracked so attackers dropped a lot uh defenders have now dropped a lot so yeah just be careful with the defending part of the market because a lot of those cards are down but some you know the more rare the more meta cards like that kim min jay like that Mazrawi, they will have some fluctuations if you're trying to trade there but just know that over the next especially the next couple of days in this game uh there are going to be cards that are in less demand because people especially for defenders are using these new cards that have been given out so yeah this is just unreal right this is one of the best parts of future stars so far and absolutely ggs to ea i would just probably be careful buying any defenders um now with the attackers remember like with olga carmona um they went there was a lot of prices that went up since this set of defenders is actually so good i don't see many cards apart from like one two three cards that are going up a lot because most of these um, there's, it's kind of like split, like everybody's splitting what they're doing across so many different cards. It's not like one card is so clear. I think this like Hideki went up a bunch yesterday. Hideki was like 45 K and now he's 54. So there's some rises like that, but it's not as crazy as like Karamoa doubling in price, almost like she did from 60 K to 113. So yeah, that is that. Now talk about the rest of the future stars cards, a little bit of a price check and a look at these cards, because some of them. As we saw in yesterday's video, with all the panic that was had on Saturday into Sunday, they might have hit their lowest, right? That might have been the lowest price for Boniface going all the way down to 330,000 coins. Like, that was absolutely mad. I picked up two of them here you saw in the video. I ended, I ended up selling him for 390. He's back down to 373. Um, Rodman, again, had a crazy fluctuation yesterday. I bought one last night. I bought another one yesterday on stream. Um, I bought her for 810 or 820 and sold it literally 30 minutes later for 989. Huge flip there, incredible profits. All the Art Goulairs that I bought for yesterday, what did I buy him for? Like 84, 82 to 83K, I think, is what I paid for most of them. Sold them all for above 95,000 coins and a couple lazies at like 116 to and 107. Like these guys lazy sell so, so good on the market. I will say that it is slowing down a little bit though. 
as weekend league comes to a close so that is one thing to kind of mention i have some articles right now some of them i bought i bought a couple at 80k on stream and then i bought some other ones in the low 70s because he's dropped a little bit even further guys these these cards have so much demand um they have so much demand it's crazy and i think that they will fluctuate a good amount during the week but like the question is is this the low point for these cards and with how much supply that they have on the market i honestly don't think except for maybe a couple of the rare ones right maybe boniface is one um rodman maybe lauren james i think the more rare cards i have an interest in for a buy that would be like an actual chance to rise during this the week this week but i feel like for most of these especially with the team two of future stars that are upcoming i know this last week we had cards that just went up like crazy right with road to the finals because live upgrades and all that jazz I'm just, I don't think a lot of these cards are going to rise up that much, but I think they will be good to flip. I think they will be good to lazy sell, which is why I picked up some Arta Goulers. Um, How much is he right now? He is 70. Yeah, he's like low to mid 70s. And we don't have weekend league rewards today. Usually that means that Mondays are a little bit slower since they've made this change um, because there's, there used to be a nice market rise on Mondays, but it's really in the second half of this year, or at least the last couple of weeks, Mondays have just been kind of mid. Sometimes the market rises happen after content just because there's not a lot of content on Mondays, um, d depending on the week. But I think these cards will be good to trade with, but it's not like I'm going out and I'm going broke on Harvey Elliott or Arda Goulet just because, again, I feel like the supply is a big, big factor with a couple of these cards and makes me not want to buy a lot of them. But I will still buy them and lazy sell them for sure on the lower tier and we'll still be able to trade with them. There were some crazy fluctuations yesterday on a card like Doku as well. Doku was... Panic sold a bunch. He went from like 2.2 mil all the way to 1.8, back up to 2.1. And right now he's still around 1.9 to 2 mil. Same thing with the icons. Um, Gerard, some of these cards look like they're kind of bottoming out a little bit and starting to find their footing in a, in a price range. Gerard was down to 645. He's now 660. Rooney got panic sold. We kind of mentioned that in yesterday's video. I was expecting him to drop and he did just because this card with only one play style plus is not it he went down to 1.3 back up to 1.5 almost and he's one four now i don't think he goes extinct again i don't think he goes anywhere near that but it should be pretty good to trade with this week the icon should be good to trade with as well roberto carlos is up 100k he was two point he was 2.15 wow so yeah calculate in your tax but some of the rare cards that have bounced down a lot not bounced but dropped a lot in price could maybe be good to trade with during the week this week so again the high supply scares me from like a full-on investment but i still think there's opportunities to trade there now other parts of the market that i bought into yesterday i actually picked up um, a couple road to the finals i picked up a couple of leon baileys for like 204 and i bought one more Ganduzi at 110 and i also bought a javi simons for 385 on a snipe now i went after these cards yesterday like right after the content drop because i was like all right these cards are out of packs um, and they are rare and that's why I went to try to pick up a couple of those it looks like Gonzalez is a little bit low again right now as well um, just because especially for like Genduzzi he plays this week right it's Lazio Bayern this week the first Champions League games are tomorrow which is very exciting but that's going to return to the hype that's going to return the hype to a lot of these cards and I think that they will potentially rise up even into the game as people see the potential for the upgrade even if it's an underdog scenario a draw is all you need once again for the upgrades and we'll be taking a look at these cards heading into tomorrow as well that's why I picked up a Javi Simons because yeah I know they're playing Madrid but you never know all you need is a draw same thing for Genduzzi all you need is a draw and there's potential upgrades there but regardless I think they rise into the hype which means there is profit potential and I'm still looking at some of these cards for just just like a club stock as well Nicholas Gonzalez Flippin has him at 21.5 right now 21,000 coins yeah I will take that and I will put that on my transfer list because you know, 20, I think 18, 19 K was his lowest and he's back down at, at that price. That's pretty crazy. And these cards I think could end up doing decent this week, even though the content's pretty good right now in this game. Live cards are always, always hyped. How much is Leon Bailey? 205, man. Gosh, dude. It, it, it helps Leon Bailey too, that the Pedro Neto was not a good SBC yesterday. Like, look at all these, man. There's not even that many to 220 and he was 225 before. So I'm going to pick up a Leon Bailey for right now because I think the hype is going to return to some of the live cards as we get games going this week. So that's kind of the situation there. And the rest of the market, again, down. A lot of cards are just down a little bit. Remember in yesterday's video, we looked at Diani and she was 438K and now she's 392. 
Like Bernardo Silva was 100 or something. Like recently he was 100K. Now he's 85. Like so even cards that are not impacted by the defenders like directly yesterday dropped in price. It's just, yeah, guys, this market right now is really, really mudded because of the good content that we have had, SBCs and especially the Evos. Now, what other good content could we have today? I mentioned one big SBC that we need to have. And that one SBC is an upgrade pack. It is the 80 plus player pick. Okay. We need a player pick unlimited repeatable. None of this 10 times a day crap like that happened during team of the year. None of that. All right. Unlimited repeatable 80 plus player pick. We need it badly. Okay. That would just make this whole grind this week. Absolutely insane. And then some people have been asking me, Nate, is the 83 times 10 going to come back? And in my opinion, I don't think that it will. Since we already have the 85 double, I don't believe that we're going to get that SBC back just because this is kind of our multiple times per day repeatable gamble pack already. If they drop an 83 times 10 and this 85 double at the same time, dude, that's literally better than like what we had during team of the year. So that would be crazy. And that would impact the market a lot. But for me, I know some people are like, Nate, should I buy informs? Because they're thinking about how informs did last week with 83 times 10. And I'm thinking that this week, I'd be surprised if they did that now with the other SBCs that are out. Like we kind of just mentioned, Informs are still 18K a piece. I don't know. I'm not risking it. Could EA drop another SBC this week that requires Informs? Yes, but if they're going to rise like they did last week, it's got to be an 83 times 10 type of multiple times per day repeatable upgrade pack. Now let's talk about fodder a little bit more in other areas because kind of as expected, your 84s are going up. Your 85s are kind of just hovering around in their range. Oh, wow. 86s are down. Okay. See, they were 12K yesterday. And I did notice that this is happening a lot on the high rated fodder market, but it's now impacting 86s too. I saw yesterday that 80, yeah, 90 rated cards are 45,000 coins, guys. Take a look at this, right? How much was Lewandowski? Lewandowski was down at 45,000 coins. The last time that 90 rates were 45k was like before we started to have SBCs at the beginning of the game. If you look at Lewandowski, he like 36k. First SBCs came in October. They spiked to 60,000 coins. These cards have not been below 50k for more than a day or two since then, which makes it seem like a pretty good investment, honestly. But the reason why they're dropping so low is there's not as many high rated squads that people are doing right now because a lot of the team of the year SBCs, like the icons, uh, those are starting to slowly expire. Eusebio is almost going away. Your player of the month Mbappe's that were there. I know that's been gone for a minute, but that's gone. Um, and a lot of more people are getting these SBCs done, right? If you wanted to do Zico, if you wanted to do Cafu, Best, Hullet, Sawa, you've probably got most of it done, to be completely honest, with the craft and everything going on. So if you want to club stock some higher rated fodder, like either an 89, a 90, or a 91, specifically the 90s and 91s, those look really, really low to me for like an overall long-term perspective, but they could go lower to be completely honest, just because um, there's not that many new SBCs. The only thing that would maybe make high rated fodder go up would be another player SBC for a icon that would be a future star. Like it's got to be an icon type of SBC guys for real. You know, that's the only type of squads right now that are requiring 88s, 89s. You know, that high rated type of squad thing. Maybe a player of the month SBC if it's somebody really, really expensive. But we don't think we're going to see any of those really soon based off of who has been leaked for player of the month. Even though there should be at least a player of the month or two coming this week. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you do a little bit of a club stock on those. But also I could see high rated fodder just going lower with how things are going on this game right now. Now, other SBCs that we need to be watching out for today, right? It's, I'm expecting a slower day of content today. Um, you know, the only thing that I could say to watch out for is a new leaked card that was tweeted by DAZONE. Uh, this is a Pundit Picks. Remember, we haven't had one of these in a long time, but evidently a Pundit Picks DePaul is going to be coming out. This was tweeted by DAZONE, um, and they're one of the partners with La Liga in announcing this SBC. So they messed up in announcing it early. I believe this is the official card. That's a nuts looking card right there. I'm going to be completely honest with you. That's pretty crazy. Depends on the price, how good it will be. And of course, the play styles or play style pluses that he gets. But that could be a really nice card. The word is that this SBC is coming out on Wednesday the 14th. I think that was in like the video that they showed. Um that they tweeted out on accident because they deleted the tweet. So I think that SBC is going to be coming out. So if you want to get any Atletico Madrid links or if this fits your team, maybe you stock up on a little bit of fodder. Shouldn't be that expensive, you would think. 
But uh, that card looks really, really good, bro. If that is actually the true card, which I think that it would be based off of a real account associated with giving out those cards in the pun and picks, like actually tweeting that out, seems pretty good to me. Now, speaking of objectives, I think there's actually a long shot call that we could potentially be getting a cup. Now, I think there's 100% going to be a Future Stars Cup. I just don't know if it's going to be this week or if it's going to be next week. They've dropped cups before on Mondays before. Usually, though, they drop them on Sundays, Saturdays or Sundays. So it feels like maybe the potential of that is down, but I think there's still a little bit of a potential there to get a cup today. So watch out for that. Other than that today, guys, it's going to be all about the menu grind uh, with the upgrade packs and SBCs, crafting if you're still doing that, and hopefully a really good upgrade pack today on this game i know the 85 double times threes got us coming back every single day if there's a way that we can get consistent 82s threes fours fives from a player pick sbc like that and have a chance at packing the team of the year or not team of the years man we wish we had a chance of packing team of the year cards but i mean um the future stars cards through an upgrade sbc like that that would be pretty mental so that's what i'm looking forward to today on this game i think it's gonna be a good grind i got foot champs to finish as well and yeah it's going to be the menu grind that carries the game this week too as well as trying out these new future stars cards especially the evos getting those done grinding through any of the spcs and crafting and then hopefully trying to pack a couple more of these and then probably the hype starting to rise for team two as well because there's certainly plenty of players that we want to see like cold palmer matisse tell just to name a couple other big clubs in the premier league and across the globe that haven't got a future star yet to be released so we're definitely excited for that but yeah today it's all about the player picks and we're going to continue watching the market because guys i will say if you want to trade if you want to grind in this game right now you want to get on bids you want to get on snipes like the market is kind of dropping but it should start to level out a little bit there shouldn't be the continuation of crazy crazy crashes just because it should level out that's that's just let's be honest that's how it should be because we've had a couple days of crashing the, the kings of coman was down at 229 then back to 252 like if i see kings of coman which it looks like he's already gone back up but like this is a card that you see that graph you know how rare he is you're like okay i can trade with this card if you want to grind the market a bit it's going to be a fantastic fantastic time to do that so maybe we'll try to hop on a bit. Ooh, right there. There we go. Two minutes left. So grinding the market right now should be really good as well. And uh, should be a good week on this game, man. The excitement is back for sure based on how the content is for future stars. I just hope that we get a good upgrade pack again today. I'm going to keep saying it. We keep that grind going during the week this week. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below who you're going to do in the Evos. Again, my only advice to you would be Maybe you don't sprint into it right away. Just do one and then figure out what you want to do after that. Keep one available just in case something else happens for the Evos that happen to come later this week on this game. And uh, yeah, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. We'll be live on Twitch today, grinding through foot champs, trying to pack future stars, and enjoying the content on this game at the moment. If you enjoyed the video today, again, drop a thumbs up on it, and I will see you guys in the stream today. It's been Nate for the count. See you guys there. Peace. Out.